Welcome to our deep explore into the dark web. But first meet me, this is your friend Saoz, IT specialist and member at web development, you know, that mysterious underbelly of the internet we've all heard whispers about. Today we're throwing some light on it, exploring the good, the bad, and the ugly of this often misunderstood digital space. We'll be venturing into the depths of the dark web, uncovering its potential for privacy and freedom of information, but also exposing the dangers and illegal activities lurking within its encrypted layers. Think of it like an online jungle, full of amazing discoveries, but also crawling with predators if you don't know what you're doing. That's why we're going to equip you with the knowledge and tools to navigate it safely in 2024. We're talking VPNs, Tor browsers, and even the option of going full-on incognito with Tails OS. So buckle up, grab your metaphorical flashlights, and let's demystify the dark web together. All right, let's kick things off with the good stuff. Why would anyone even want to venture into the dark web? Well, for starters, Imagine a world where you can communicate and share information without the constant gaze of big tech companies, advertisers, or even governments. Sounds pretty utopian, right? That's the promise the dark web offers, a haven for privacy and anonymity. Think about it. Every time you're online, you're leaving a digital trail. Your search history, your purchases, your social media activity, it's all being tracked and analyzed. But on the dark web, things work a bit differently. It uses something called onion routing which is a fancy way of saying your data is bounced through multiple layers of encryption, making it incredibly difficult to trace back to you. This anonymity can be a powerful tool for whistleblowers, journalists, and activists living in oppressive regimes. It allows them to communicate freely without fear of censorship or persecution. Imagine being able to expose corruption or report human rights violations without putting yourself or your sources at risk. That's the kind of impact the dark web can have. But it's not just about serious stuff. The dark web also provides a platform for open discussions and the sharing of information that might be censored or suppressed on the regular internet. Think about controversial scientific research, political dissent, or even just access to information that's been blocked in your country. And then there's the whole world of privacy-focused services. We're talking encrypted email providers that make your inbox Fort Knox level secure, private messaging apps that would make even the nosiest government agency jealous, and forums where you can discuss sensitive topics without worrying about being monitored. It's like having your own digital fortress. Now I know what you're thinking. This all sounds great, Linus, but isn't the dark web just a haven for criminals? Well, that's where things get a little more complicated. While the dark web does have its fair share of shady characters, it's important to remember that a tool can be used for both good and bad. Think about it like a hammer. You can use it to build a house or you can use it to break stuff. The dark web is the same way. It's simply a tool and its impact depends on the intentions of the user. So yes, while there are definitely risks involved in venturing into the dark web, it's important to remember that it's not inherently evil. It's a complex ecosystem with both positive and negative aspects. And understanding the difference is crucial before you even think about diving in. But let's not sugarcoat things. The dark web can be a dangerous place if you don't know what you're doing. That's why we're here to guide you through it, showing you the ropes and helping you stay safe while exploring its hidden corners. Remember, knowledge is power, and in this case, it might just keep you safe. So stick with us as we delve deeper into the dark web and uncover its secrets. All right, before we jump into why the Tor browser alone might not be enough, let's take a moment to talk about the essential tools you'll need for safe exploration of the dark web. Think of this as your survival kit for navigating this mysterious underworld. First up, a robust VPN. As we mentioned earlier, a VPN adds an extra layer of encryption masking your IP address even before you connect to the Tor network. But not all VPNs are created equal. Look for one that offers strong encryption, a no-logs policy, and a wide range of server locations. This will ensure that your online activities remain private and secure. Next, you'll need a secure operating system. Consider using Tails, a live operating system that you can boot from a USB stick or DVD. Tails is designed to preserve your privacy and anonymity, leaving no trace on the computer you're using. 
It comes pre-configured with Tor and other privacy-focused tools, making it an excellent choice for dark web exploration. Don't forget about secure communication tools. Encrypted email services like ProtonMail or Tutanota and encrypted messaging apps like Signal or Wicker are crucial for maintaining your privacy. These tools ensure that your communications remain confidential, even if intercepted. Another essential tool is a password manager. Using strong, unique passwords for each of your accounts is vital, but remembering them all can be a challenge. A password manager, like LastPass or Bitwarden, can securely store and generate complex passwords, keeping your accounts safe from unauthorized access. And finally, practice good digital hygiene. This means keeping your software up to date, avoiding suspicious links and downloads, and being cautious about the information you share. Remember, even the most secure tools can't protect you if you don't use them wisely. So to recap, your survival kit for the dark web includes a robust VPN, a secure operating system like Tails, encrypted communication tools, a password manager, and good digital hygiene. With these tools in your arsenal, you'll be better equipped to navigate the dark web safely and securely. Now that we've got your survival kit sorted, let's dive deeper into why the Tor browser alone might not be enough to keep you safe on the dark web. So, we've talked about the allure of the dark web and how it can be a sanctuary for privacy and anonymity. But before you get too comfortable, there's something crucial you need to understand. Relying solely on the Tor browser for your security is like locking your front door but leaving your windows wide open. The Tor browser is your gateway to the dark web, designed to keep your online activities private by bouncing your data through multiple encrypted nodes. But here's the catch. Tor alone doesn't make you invincible. In fact, there are several vulnerabilities and pitfalls you need to be aware of. First up, exit nodes. While your data is encrypted through multiple layers within the Tor network, it eventually emerges through an exit node to reach its final destination. This last hop can be monitored or even compromised by malicious actors. Imagine thinking you're safe, only to have your data intercepted at the last moment. Then there's the issue of IP leaks. Even with Tor, certain browser plugins, misconfigurations, or software vulnerabilities can expose your real IP address, effectively nullifying the privacy benefits. It's like wearing an invisibility cloak with a big, glowing name tag. And let's not forget about malware. Just because you're on the dark web doesn't mean you're immune to malicious software. In fact, the dark web can be a hotbed for malware distribution. Clicking on the wrong link or downloading an untrusted file can compromise your entire system, making you a target for hackers. So, what can you do to bolster your defenses? First, always use a VPN in conjunction with Tor. A VPN adds an additional layer of encryption, masking your IP address even before you connect to the Tor network. It's like adding a second lock to your front door. Next, make sure your Tor browser is always up to date. Developers are constantly patching vulnerabilities, and running an outdated version can leave you exposed. And always disable browser plugins and scripts that can leak your IP or other sensitive information. Finally, practice good digital hygiene. Be cautious about the links you click, the files you download, and the information you share. Think twice before engaging in any activity that could put you at risk. In summary, while the Tor browser is a powerful tool, it's not a silver bullet. Understanding its limitations and taking additional precautions is essential for maintaining your privacy and security on the dark web. Remember, knowledge is your best defense. Now that we've covered why Tor alone isn't enough, let's dive deeper into the darker side of the dark web and uncover the risks that come with it. We've seen the good side of the dark web, but now it's time to explore its underbelly, the bad stuff. And trust me, it can get pretty ugly. Remember that anonymity we talked about? The very thing that makes the dark web appealing for privacy also makes it a breeding ground for illegal activities. It's like a digital mask for criminals allowing them to operate in the shadows. So, what kind of shady stuff are we talking about? If it's illegal in the real world, chances are it's for sale on the dark web. We're talking about marketplaces peddling everything from drugs and weapons to stolen data and counterfeit documents. 
One of the most notorious aspects of the dark web is its association with drug trafficking. Online black markets have become a haven for buying and selling illicit substances. But here's the thing. Just because it feels anonymous doesn't mean it is. Law enforcement agencies are getting smarter and are actively working to infiltrate these marketplaces. Beyond drugs, the dark web has also become a hub for stolen data. We're talking credit card numbers, social security numbers, even login credentials for your online accounts. And then there's the truly disturbing stuff. Child exploitation, hitman for hire services, and even live streamed torture. These are the darkest corners of the dark web, and they paint a grim picture of the potential consequences of unchecked anonymity. It's a stark reminder that with freedom comes responsibility, and unfortunately, not everyone on the dark web is playing by the rules. But it's crucial to be aware of the risks involved before you even think about venturing into this digital underworld. The dark web is not a game. It's a real place with real consequences. But even with all the risks, there are still ways to navigate the dark web safely. Using a VPN is crucial, as it masks your IP address and encrypts your traffic. The key takeaway here is this. The dark web is a double-edged sword. It can be a powerful tool for good, offering privacy, freedom, and access to information. So before you even think about diving in, ask yourself, are the risks worth the rewards? And if you do decide to venture into the dark web, Proceed with extreme caution and always prioritize your safety and security. Okay, we've talked about the good. We've discussed the bad. Now brace yourselves because things are about to get really real. We're diving into the ugly side of the dark web, the risks and consequences that can come back to haunt you in the real world. Remember that feeling of anonymity the dark web offers? Well, it's not as bulletproof as you might think. Law enforcement agencies around the world are constantly developing new ways to track down criminal activity online. And the dark web is no exception. They're using sophisticated techniques to infiltrate marketplaces, track transactions, and ultimately catch the people behind the keyboards. So even if you're just browsing around thinking you're just an anonymous face in the crowd, think again. You could be unknowingly stumbling upon illegal content participating in a forum that's being monitored, or even downloading a file that's been rigged with malware. And trust me, explaining that to the authorities later won't be pretty. Speaking of malware, the dark web is a breeding ground for nasty viruses, ransomware, and spyware. Hacker lurk in the shadows, waiting to exploit unsuspecting users. One wrong click, one download from a shady source, and you could be looking at a world of pain identity theft financial ruin, you name it, and it's not just your digital life that's at risk. Remember those hitman for hire services we talked about? As chilling as it sounds, they're a real threat. While many of them are scams, there have been documented cases of real-world violence stemming from dark web interactions. It's a stark reminder that the lines between the virtual and the real can blur very quickly in this space. But the ugliness doesn't stop there. The dark web can have a psychological impact too. The constant exposure to disturbing content, the fear of being monitored, the knowledge that you're just one wrong click away from danger. It can take a toll on your mental well-being. It's like staring into the abyss and sometimes the abyss stares back. Now I know this all sounds pretty doom and gloom, but the goal here isn't to scare you off entirely. It's about empowering you with knowledge helping you understand the very real risks involved so you can make informed decisions. If you're considering venturing into the dark web, ask yourself, is it worth potentially exposing yourself to malware, legal trouble, or even psychological harm? Because once you go down that rabbit hole, it's hard to come back unscathed. But listen, if you're still determined to explore this digital frontier, at least do it safely. Use a reputable VPN, Consider going the extra mile with Tails OS. And for goodness sake, be cautious about every link you click, every file you download, and every interaction you have. Remember, the dark web is a powerful tool, but like any tool, it can be used for good or evil. The choice is yours, but choose wisely, because the consequences can be very real. So, there you have it. We've journeyed through the good, 
the bad and the downright ugly of the dark web. We've seen its potential for privacy and freedom, but we've also witnessed the dangers lurking within its digital shadows. Remember, while the dark web can offer privacy and freedom, it also comes with significant risks. Always use a VPN and consider using Tails for the ultimate security. Stay safe out there. In this chapter, we will explore how to use Tails, a live operating system that you can start on almost any computer from a USB stick or a DVD. Tails aims at preserving your privacy and anonymity and helps you to use the internet anonymously and circumvent censorship. All connections to the internet are forced to go through the Tor network. Leave no trace on the computer you're using unless you ask it explicitly. Use state-of-the-art cryptographic tools to encrypt your files, emails, and instant messaging. To get started with Tails, you'll need a USB stick or DVD, and you'll need to download the Tails image from the official website. Follow the instructions to create your bootable media, and then restart your computer with the USB stick or DVD insert. Once Tails is up and running, you'll notice that it looks and feels like a regular operating system. However, its true power lies in its ability to keep you anonymous and secure. By default, all internet traffic is routed through the Tor network, ensuring your online activities are private. Moreover, Tails leaves no trace on the computer you're using unless you explicitly save your data. This means you can use public or shared computers without worrying about leaving behind any personal information. Additionally, Tails comes equipped with advanced cryptographic tools to encrypt your files, emails, and instant messages. This ensures that even if your data is intercepted, it remains unreadable to prying eyes. In this chapter, we will explore how using a VPN can add an extra layer of security when accessing the dark web. A VPN or virtual private network encrypts your internet connection, making it more difficult for anyone to track your online activities. This is especially important when navigating the dark web, where anonymity and security are paramount. Let's start with the benefits of using a VPN. By encrypting your internet connection, a VPN helps to keep your data safe from hackers, ISPs, and even government surveillance. This added layer of security can be crucial when accessing sensitive information or engaging in activities that require utmost privacy. Choosing a reliable VPN service is the next step. Look for a VPN that offers strong encryption, a no-logs policy, and a wide range of server locations. Some of the top-rated VPNs include NordVPN, ExpressVPN, and CyberGhost. These services are known for their robust security features and user-friendly interfaces. When it comes to best practices for maintaining your privacy online, always connect to your VPN before accessing the dark web. Ensure that your VPN's kill switch feature is enabled. This feature automatically disconnects your internet if the VPN connection drops, preventing any data leaks. Additionally, avoid free VPN services, as they often come with limitations and may not provide the level of security you need. In conclusion, combining Tails with a reliable VPN can significantly enhance your online security and anonymity. By taking these extra steps, you can better protect yourself from the various risks associated with the dark web. Stay vigilant, stay secure, and always prioritize your privacy. And that wraps up our comprehensive guide to navigating the dark web with caution and security. We hope you found this information valuable and empowering. Until next time, stay safe out there. Stay safe out.